Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to create description rule set in Accounts Payable Cloud. Yeah. So before getting to the session, so this is the the key information about the the topic. So Oracle Payables, how to create a description rule set at line level. So I think you guys are aware of it. So when we create any transaction in accounts payable, I mean to say any invoice, we can see that line down description will get populated automatically, right? So how it is getting populated, populated automatically in the invoice line level description? It means it is coming from the seeded rules which has given by the Oracle. So if at all, if the clients wants to edit or if a client wants to create any new description rules based on the current business process, if they wants to capture some any additional information at the line level when they create any advice, yes, then we, we can create description rule set based on the need. So what, how does it impact or how does it help for the business? So when we create invoice, so the business user wants to capture invoice number and supplier name or any other information as like their need. So it is in fact, I mean to say it is important for them to understand while they import any reports from the subledgers or the GL. So by by looking at the description level. So that is one of the main object for them, right? So in this demo session, what we are going to do now, we will try to create distribution rules and we will perform one, or I would say we will create one invoice and we will we'll notice that how the description rules is created and appear the information over the invoice line level, right? So after we creating description rules set, we need to associate the particular description rule set to your general line rule set. Then only the system will capture the all the changes what we have done. So this is basic information or very significant of the information about the description rule set. So now get into application. First, once you log into application, go to setup and maintenance, functional area, select payables, click on all task, scroll down till you see your uh, manage description rules. Here you go, manage description rules. Click on that. So these are the already Oracle has given as part of the implementation. We can say seeded description rules, right? So now we want to create our own description rule set. How that is happening? Click on plus symbol, say X, Y, Z underscore description rules. X, Y, Z underscore description underscore rule copy paste subledger application is variables status is active created by creation with last updated by last update date and what is the rule we are going to use for it here you can see there are two tabs available action and view so another one is plus symbol to create new rule source click on source select subledger model is nothing but as a payables select and search so here you can see there are multiple things are there which is comes under the line level and header level also select whichever you want to populate in the description rules say Supplier number, come down, supplier name, come down still, 
there is an option to let's say is there any such type to no, I think so. There is no such option. So we have to go through like this. See here, invest interest, accounting date, accounting invoice amount, and a paid amount not required. Date description, invoice description. Select this is the one. description select source come down we will select our supplier name I want to invest number as well as this number. We can source again. Try to bring our supplier name also. Let's see. Go down till the end. I think it is not showing here. Supplies. Okay, what we'll do, just we'll give some demo. What we can do. Select any other options which you want to showcase. That is, that is available. Okay, but anyhow, see, so this is how we need to select the all the conditions which you want right just say okay so in the rule set what i have given inverse description this is the one i given inverse number inverse number if it's standard inverse standard save and close if you want to add, add any additional so again if you want to add any other things that also possible here you can add it here just after that validate Click on save, save on the close. So this is the word we created. So these are the three different description rules which has given me Oracle. Save and go to manage subledger general entry rule set. So you, where you want to use this one, so that we need identified, right? Just call out our invoice accrual. Yeah, this is the word. Ours call out. It takes a while to open the oh, next window. So here you can see already it is available for land description rule, which is seededly captured here. So now, so here this is the what? The library level, ZL level, come down, come down here, till the end, go where you want to 
captured that. Item expenses, debit. So I will override here. So I will select. Here you can see descript XYZ description rule. It came right. This is how the description rules can be created here. And now we are just going to associate this particular XYZ description rule with the your segment. I mean to say general line rules. If not associated, then it won't be derived any additional description value as per our setup. Just save OK. Click on save and close. Done. Now just go and create one invoice. So let's see how it will be deriving the description value for the invoice. Create invoice. Select business in a previous one. Supplier is ABC Consulting. DES underscore one 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 thousand five hundred dollars. Save record. Go to line level. Add line amount. $1,500 to validation. So what is the total value? 1635. 1635 including tax value. Do validation again. Validated. Click on invest action. Account in dropped. Just we create the create accounting mode in the account it dropped. Yes, view accounting. So we have given for what item expenses, not for the liability code. Liability code will come under the header level. Item access will be coming in the line level. So just scroll on here. Here you can see. Expand it. See here, it got selected. Inverse description and inverse number equal to this award. So description underscore 11. This is what we have given, right? So this is how the system will derive our custom description based on what we provided in the source values. So if you want, you can provide any n number of description values in the source. So this is how we can create the description value. Just save and close. Go to invest action, post to ledger. I will show you the same thing in the GL also, how it will looks like. Save and close. Save and close here again. Task. Review journals entries. Click on that. Select ledger name is US primary ledger. General sources tables. Date is today's date, October 23rd. Final, yes, click on set. You will see our entry, which got transferred from sub ledger model to GL model. Here you can see. So, here you can see this a number of lines got created based on the uh, invest thing. Transaction number is 
ds underscore triple one. That is what I have given over there. See, keep in mind one more thing. When you're going to review the journals of the subledger accounting transactions, this is the page where you can see all the information. Accounting date, transaction number, general category, status, entry description, event class, and event type. Event class is nothing but as invoices, what we created. Event type is invoice validated. So here we can see all the information about the general entry. If you want to see general entry also, here you can see the tab, view general entry. Select our transaction, invoice transaction number, and click on view general entry. It will give the journal information again is the our sub ledger transaction invoice. So here I notice that ABC supplier name is ABC consulting supplier side and invest type standard. So here I can see this is the how the invest will and this will be appearing on the screen for journals. Go back. You can see here again. Yeah, this is the accounting combination for the invoice. So this is how we can create description lines for the accounts payable at the line level. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.